we're going to talk about inventory and inventory management. First of all, you have the tab which you can move things around between your characters, which is fine. This is the only thing that it's good for. Moving things around your character in a visual way that doesn't involve uh, right clicking and sending to someone else like that. That is a valid choice. You can do that. But if you really want to just tinker visually, there you go. And you can see even the encumbrance of each character and decide where to send what to who. But personal inventory management can be a little bit more pain because of course it does. This is an RPG and we don't leave anything down if we can pick it up. We pick up everything. So we end up looking like this, which is not very nice. Now, there is a sort command here. So you can get about the latest, what you picked up last. This is something I've had with me for the very first time I started the game. So that's why this is like this or you can move by value, which is the most expensive. This is my most expensive item at 400 gold, while this only is one gold. You can get the weight, which is important because if you are very close to your weight limit, you really want to send that thing, which is weighs the most to someone else. And then you can just sort by type. And this becomes a little bit more helpful when you're trying to do your own personal inventory management. Now, things to know about how to manipulate items. You can click on that, you can click on that, you can click on that, and you see that there is a border around indicating what's sort of like the active item right now. This matters because you have Windows selection control. If you click on this and then go to the next item, some other item, any item, and press hold, shift, and then click, you select all of those. All of those items are now selected. If you want to do something else, you can go to this item and then hold control button, click on that, click on this, click on that, click on that. And now you have selected whatever you want. So that's how to select items. What can you do with it? Well, right click on them and then you can see what you do. Drop items, obviously send to camp is very useful because your camp inventory is infinite. Let me say that again, there is no limit to how many items you can send to your camp. You can send all the items to your camp and your camp has a similar function of sorting by these four things. So you can find or sort or arrange things as you need them to. There is a very uh, another option though that will require selection and well, no, it's, it's about making it easier for you to sell items. So you have selected all of this and you say, you know what? I really don't want to have any kind of uh, these kind of things. I don't want that crest set. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this or this or this. I want to sell that. And all of these bows are for crap. So I don't want them anymore, but they can make me money. So you have selected the things that you want to sell, but now how to sell them? Where? First of all, add them to your wares. Now you have this little item on them, which means, you know, point and gold icon. Point and gold icon, that's so that you can sell them. You find a vendor, you talk to them, and I'd like to see your wares. And if you're in barter, there is nothing different about barter screen, it's the same screen. But if you go to trade, now you have a sell wares button and all your things that you have marked as wares are automatically all of them selected and sold. And now you've made some money without pressing too many buttons. That's all. Hope that helps.